and another beautiful day here in Cerritos. The sunset last night was amazing. That's what you do for a sunset in these build videos. If you watched our first video on this series for the casitas, Tamar has been working alongside the guys. Um, he's, he's hanging in there. Uh, so today is start of week two and he, he's out here doing it. And I'm inside eating and watching some Netflix. All right, let's go see how he's feeling. So we it should be in boots, not in uh, flip flops. Still going. Still doing the easy part. <laughs> it's the MVP of the work. He was ready to go at five this morning. <laughs> he's up, he's ready. Sometime this week, we should be putting the floor down either Thursday or Friday. But either way, they're laying the pipes now. And if you see, they're using these green um, piping. One advantage of this one are that they are welded. You don't have, you really don't have connection because the plastic uh -huh. is melt between connections and pipes. The fusion is... Is what put, put them together. Yeah, fusioning them. The machine that with heat makes the plastic uh, soft and they got fusion you don't you don't use glue you don't use uh, any kind of tape so it guarantees that you will have no leaks at the future but even with that kind of guarantee we have to do some tests before we put on concrete <laughs> Meet our incredible interior designer who transformed our house into a dream come true. Her creative vision and attention to detail brought new life to every corner. Contact info in description. This architect slash builder, he speaks English. Um, you know, that's part of coming to Mexico is, you know, you need to adapt and you need to learn. And we do, we, we're working on it. So we use a lot of Google Translate, which was great and it worked, but with our builders this time, um, with the architect, he's been explaining everything to Tamar because he's been out there. When I'm out there, he'll explain stuff like he just um, showed you. It's nice um, to see and to maybe get more of an understanding of what is being done, when things are happening, you know, updates, but to go into detail, and that might be part of it, one, obviously he speaks good English. Two, Tamar's out there with him. So as Tamar's doing stuff, Tamar's learning um, why they use different products, different material. All the rebars are in. That's gonna support the walls, the doors, those uh, orange looking plastic lines. Those are the lead lines for the electricity, the internet, the green lines. Uh, as you heard from uh, Valde a few days ago, that's all for the uh, water. And we did the pressurization test today. White lines, that's all for sewer. Pressure test that we did, it's been holding at 99 for about the last two hours. And we did it. We did another pressure pressure test a few days ago, but we had to redo it because we forgot to install one line for the garden. Everything is set and in place for us to be, you know, laying blocks or yeah, for us to be laying blocks come tomorrow. And that's the plan. By tomorrow afternoon, the foundation should be set so that we can start laying the blocks. We'll see how that goes. But right as of right now, we're on schedule. And I, I might've mentioned it in an earlier video, but the builder that we have now, I mean, it's like military style. He actually has a checklist with days as you go that says, okay, by this week, by that day, this is where we should be in the process. And again, we are ahead of schedule. Um, I love that because, you know, coming from a military background, that's what I'm used to. 
and it, it lets everyone know exactly what you should be, whether or not you're ahead of time or you're behind schedule. And right now, we are ahead of schedule. So I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Each casita is going to be supported by its independent 5,000 liter cistern. So that's something that we kind of made a change on on the backside of our plants. Originally, it's supposed to be both feeding into each other to then provide to both casitas, but I asked for it to be uh, separated. That way, if, in case one runs out before the other, and if we do decide to rent it out, then we'll know exactly who needs to call the water truck. Tamara's learning a lot. I'm learning a lot hearing it from Tamar because I'm not out there like Tamara is um, every day, but it's very interesting and we're learning a lot more this time around, even from before. We learned a lot the first one, good and bad. And in this one, we're just learning even more. Hopefully with our last experience with our house that we had built, um, and then now the casitas, we're gonna have even more experience, different um, scenarios, materials, just a lot of stuff is different, but we're getting and hearing like from friends that are building in the area as well, um, all the good and bad and um, it's a lot of knowledge that we're getting in the short amount of time. So today's Monday by later this week, I don't remember what day he said, that they're gonna be starting to do start doing the flooring. And to remind you guys, this is week two of them starting, which is crazy, right? So it's exciting. Tomorrow's already out here working. It's seven o'clock. I don't know what these are for, but they're long as hell. These guys are hard workers. Every morning they're up at, we hear them moving around around five and when sun's up, they're up and, and moving. So what we should not be in is in Crocs and flip flops. Especially TJ's. Yes, but it's my foot, okay? <laughs> yeah, I am wearing TJ's. TJ keeps asking me, hey, why are you wearing the shoes? It's crazy to us that end of last, of week one, we now have a whole, you know, concrete flooring and the walls are going up. So it's really coming into shape and it makes us even more excited. I mean, the progress that they've made in only five days. With four guys. With four. Four people. Yeah, that that is amazing. All right, so here we have our toilet. Just to imagine. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm gonna wash my hands in the sea. You know what? I'm just gonna take a shower. So it's exciting now that we're seeing like every, you know, designated space, it's super exciting. So our builder slash contractor is awesome. He's here every day. He's watching them, you know, just paying attention to all the little details that we have no clue about. So Tamar, you know, in all the videos so far, you see that he's out here with them. Um, but he has obviously, sorry babe, no you know, clue on what true. really it's things true. should look like or where they need to be. We could not have asked for um, a better uh, builder to help us with this project. Um, we are 100% pleased, not just with the performance of the work, but with the execution of the, and, and the communication between the builder ourselves and the, the guys that are here working. I, I cannot thank them enough for uh, everything that they're doing. Absolutely recommend them uh, if you're looking for someone to do a build. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below.